Hello everyone. My name is Riya Jain, and our today's topic for discussion is liver. And we are going to discuss about what liver is, what are the different functions of the liver, and lastly, the different liver function tests. So, starting with with what liver is, it is one of the largest organs in the body, which is located right under the diaphragm, more to the right side, overlying the stomach. so the different functions that are associated with the liver to start with is it uh, helps in macronutrient metabolism so liver is especially important in maintaining a normal blood glucose level so when glucose level is low the liver can break down stored glucose that is glycogen to glucose and release it into the blood stream so that is one macronutrient that is carbohydrate metabolism second it is help it helps in lipid metabolism that is liver cells can store triglycerides uh, and break down fatty acids to generate energy and they can also synthesize lipoproteins which are uh, which can transport fatty acids triglycerides cholesterol to and from the body cells and they can also synthesize cholesterol the third macronutrient that is uh, liver also helps in protein metabolism so the liver can convert amino acids to glucose so that the amino acids can be used for energy purposes so yes protein can also be used for energy purposes and this happens with a functioning liver the next function that is associated with liver is uh, the processing of drugs and hormones in the body so the liver can detoxify substances such as alcohol and also excrete certain drugs uh, into bile and it can also chemically alter certain hormones or excrete certain hormones like estrogen and aldosterone the next function is excretion of bilirubin so bilirubin is the breakdown product of aged rbc so your rbcs they uh, renew every 3 months and the breakdown product of these rbcs is bilirubin and it is excreted out of the body as it's a breakdown product it needs to be excreted out of the body so it is absorbed by the liver from the blood and is secreted outside the body in the form of bile the next function is the synthesis of bile acids uh, or bile salts so basically bile salts are made of bile acids that are bound with uh, two amino acids that is glycine and taurine and bile salts are used in the uh, small intestine for the absorption of lipids so bile salts are important and the synthesis happens in the liver the next function of liver is the storage of uh, certain vitamins and minerals so in addition to storing glycogen that is the stored form of glucose the liver is a prime storage organ for certain vitamins like a b e and vitamin b12 and minerals like iron and copper so these are released from the liver whenever needed elsewhere in the body and lastly there is a function that is associated with liver is the activation of vitamin d so uh, apart from the skin and the kidneys the liver also participates in the synthesis of active form of vitamin d in the body coming uh, towards the liver function tests now so these are a set of tests which help you uh, know about the status of functioning liver in the body so starting with total bilirubin as we already saw that bilirubin is the breakdown product of rbcs which is excreted out of the body through liver via bile acids so if the liver is not functioning uh, the total bilirubin levels may budge next is fatty liver index so this is a measure of uh, the fat being accumulated in your liver cells so if fat gets accumulated in your liver cells your liver becomes dysfunctional and that is what uh, fatty liver disease actually means and in order to find out about uh, your uh, risk of a fatty liver you can measure it using this test named fatty liver index so there is a calculator which help you calculate fatty liver index which inculcates measurements like your waist circumference your uh, body mass index that is your bmi along with other blood parameters like ggp and triglycerides so that is how you can calculate your fatty liver index the next test is serum bile acid so uh, bile as it is uh, as we saw one of the functions of liver is to synthesize bile Uh, if serum bile acids are tested and if there is a problem with the measurement there is some problem with the liver also next is sgpt that also stands for asp 
SGPT stands for serum glutamic pyruvic transaminase. So this is a test. This is an enzyme which is usually made in the liver. The levels can increase if there is a problem in the liver. Next is SGOT that is serum glutamic oxaloacetate transaminase ALT uh, which is also called as ALT. So uh, this is also an enzyme which is made in the liver and can help you uh, know about your liver function. Uh, so total protein measures the level of protein in the blood. The two main types of protein are uh, your albumin and globulin. So these are also tested as part of the liver function test. So albumin, uh, to talk about albumin, it helps in uh, keeping blood from leaking out of the blood vessels. And globulins are what fight infections and are also made in the liver. Lastly, there is GGT, that is gamma glutamyl transferase. This is also an enzyme which is made in the liver and uh, the levels of uh, GGT can determine the functioning of the liver. So if you have any questions regarding this video, you can put them in the comments and you can subscribe the channel to stay updated. Thank you.